Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, and today we're going to talk about another one of the pre-cons of Modern Horizon 3, which is Omo, Queen of Vesuva, uh, Changeling Tribal under $300. So, um, this deck, um, didn't really excite me that much at a pre-con, I was just going to do like some upgrades, but I had a deck that I made oh, like a year ago, and it was Changeling Tribal, but it was just missing something, so I just set it off. I had the deck fully made. It was Tolran, Tolan, or Tolrand, uh, Toymaker, I, I think that's the name. Uh, and like, I just don't think this is gonna be good. So I just put put in a graveyard, and then Omo comes around. I'm like, yo, we got this deck revived. Let's go. So um, today we're gonna do this deck tech, and I am very excited to go through it with you guys uh, together. I have added some new cards, upgrades, some pieces since it's been a year since I made uh, that original deck. Now. We got some pieces here, but it is budget, so you'll definitely see some budgety cards uh, in the land slot and as well um, as the Into the Sorcery artifacts uh, because the last version was like a grand or something behind a mana crypt to do a lotus and all that stuff. But let's just get into it, right? Um, so we have the commander, which is Omo Queen of Vesuva, uh, which is two colorless, a uh, hybrid green, and blue, uh, safe shifter noble, and then whenever Omo Queen. Uh, Vesuva enter the battlefield or attacks with an everything counter uh, on each of up to one target land or up to one target creature and each land with every the counter on it is every land type and does do other types and then each non-land creature with a everything counter is every creature type which is really good as a 1-5 so this card is going to be really sweet uh, in a chain of the deck like this because you get to put every counters on your lords which I do love, so let's just get right into the 31 creatures that we're playing. So, we got a uh, Ambio Boiled uh, Changeling, uh, Avian Curio, uh, Lula, uh, Queen Among Bears, uh, Baru, uh, Warren Speaker, Bio Waste Blob, Chameleon Colossus, uh, Curious uh, Altasaur, uh, Gal. Gala Rider, Sliver, and then Gl Gilt, Leaf, Arch Druid. So a lot of sweet lords here. A lot of lord abilities and stuff like that. And then uh, Avon Curior just found out what it does today. So whenever Avon Curior attacks, choose a counter on a permanent control. Put a counter of that kind on target permanent you control. It doesn't have a counter of that kind on it. So that's pretty good um, when it attacks, right? And then we do play some changeling here. We got uh, two changelings and then the rest are lords or helping our lord tribal here so um good so far we got worms we got bears we got oozes we got slivered we got dinos we we, we got a uh, druid so let's uh move on here and we got a uh, glass pool mimic guardian glade walker hawk ball the surging soul harabaz uh druid lord of the unreal uh mask vandal metallic mimic uh, Moret of the Forest and Moth Dutch Changeling. So all good cards so far. Uh, we are playing some uh, safe shifters uh, in this deck because there are not too many Changelings out there, but that's okay. Because we get to copy our Changelings and have those types as well. And uh, Hawkball and uh, Metallic Mimic and Lord of the Unreal and more Lord abilities. Um, and then we got uh, some Mana Dorks here like uh, Howard Bed Druid. Uh, which is equal to number of allergy control, but our changes are going to be every type. And then with that everything counter, it's going to be really disgusting. And then um, a funny thing about Lord of the Unreal is that we could uh, give it everything counter on it, and it will also have plus one, plus one, and hexproof. And it's just really disgusting, a really nice protector there. Um, but yeah, I'm really liking it so far. Uh, let's move on to more creatures. So we've got Ovar the All Form. Uh, Pre Titania, Progenitor Mimic, Will Realm Walker, Risen Reef, Shadow Sliver, uh, Shape Sherrier, Shape Sherrier, I think that's the, how you pronounce it. Uh, Spawning Kraken and Timber Protector. Some lords here, and then also um, some really nice pieces here. So uh, we got Ovar, just a really sweet changeling, um, which is really nice. We get to create tokens depending on what gets targeted with it. And um, uh, Priest of Titania is pretty good. Uh, Progenitor Mimic, which is copies thing for us. And then we got uh, Realm Walker. Uh, Red and Reef is really sweet, just because uh, all of our chains are going to be any type, and it triggers off Red and Reef. Uh, Shadow Silver, which makes all of our changelings unblockable, or creatures as well. Um, another changeling here, and then Spawning Kraken, which we give create a bunch of 9-9s, and then Timber uh, Protector, which gives our 
uh, changelings or anything with that. Everything count on it. Indestructible and plus one plus one, which is really sweet. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really liking uh, how this turned out so far. And then there's more mana with Free Titania. I love that card. So, let's move on to the last bit here. We got Unesh. Uh, uh, Creo Sphinx uh, Sovereign and uh, Universal Automaton. Uh, Vizier of Many Faces and Woodland Changeling. Just all good cards here. Uh, we got Lord here, which is the Sphinx. And then the two Changelings. And then the Safe Switcher as well, which is a good one. Um, but yeah, that's all 31 creatures. Uh, let's dive right in, into the artifact within that much, which is only four artifacts. Uh, which are Arcane Signet, Coat of Arms, Match with Nessus, and Soul Ring. So we got two uh, artifacts that produce mana, but Coat of Arms is pretty sweet in this deck just because everything just going to get really big. And then we got Match with Nessus, which turns all of our creatures into basically everything. So, And then we get to create Sift of Dirt off that as well, which is a nice way to gunk up the board. So pretty nice there. And let's talk about the 13 Essence. So we've got Zord Identity, Arcane Denial, Beast Within, uh, concerted def defense, uh, counter spell, double major, gross borrow, hero intervention, and mutation advantage. So, uh, absorbed identity is only good in this specific deck just because you return target creature. You may have a safe scepter. You control become copy of that creature till the end turn, which is really sweet depending on what you copy. They got some counter like arcane denial, uh, concerted defense, and then counter spell, and then we got some removal here, which is beats within. And then we got some protection spell, which is heroic intervention and mutational advantage. And then we got some uh, sweet cards here with like Grog Spiral and then Double Major with Copies Target Spell. You control this up. It, it isn't legendary if that spell is legendary, which is really sweet if we do uh, copy something that is legendary in our deck. So, yeah. And then we have some removal, more removal here, which is Resculpt, Seed Double, Sublime Empathy, and Worldly Tutor, which is the only tutor in the deck. Um, I really do like Sublime Epiphany, uh, just because it's a counter, creates token, it returns, it draws a card, and counters target activate ability. And we'll get to choose one or more, and then we have Seed Double, which is, um, we'll get a copy target spell, you may choose new targets, or create a token, that's a copy of, of, of a creature, Jesus, I can't speak English. Um, and then two, if an opponent has eight or more cards in graveyard, you may choose both, which is kind of rare, kind of not, you know, depending on what game you play. And then we sculpt this knife removal spell, but yeah, that's all the uh, sorcery there. So we have nine. Oh no, that's all the instants, my bad. We have nine sorceries. I was about to say, ooh, did not mean to press that. There we go. All right, so we want to nine sorcery. We've got Distant Melody, Mass Appeal, Nature's Lore, Peer Pressure, Rampant Growth, Regrowth, Takashima's Will. Three visits and whelming wave. So all the card pretty good. We got a lot of draw in here as well. Uh, which uh, distant melody and then mass appeal, which is draw a card for each human you control for mass appeal, and then distant melody you draw choose, uh, choose a creature type, draw a card for each permanent you control of that type, and then we got some ramp here, which is nature's lore, three visits and ramp of growth, and then peer pressure is choose a creature type. If you control more creatures to type than any other player you gain control of all other creatures of that type which is really sweet since all of our um creature are changeling they'll be whatever type we choose depending on what our opponent plays we get to steal other creatures which is really sweet and then some recurring with regrowth and then socket team as well which is really disgusting so choose one if you control commander uh as you oh wait if you control commander casting you may choose both target opponent choose a creature they control you gain control of it uh, choose a creature you control for each other creature you control becomes a copy of that creature for the end turn which is really nice and then we get a whelming way which is just bounce everything except for our changelings or what that is a, a crack in a leviathan's octopus and serpents so pretty nice there and we're running seven enchantments here so let's get right into here uh descendant path endless evil guardian project kinder discovery reflection of letaziara uh, the Bear of Letazara, and then Utopia Sprawl. All good cards here. Descent Path, I just found out, like, it's really good in here. So, at the beginning of your upkeep, reveal top card of your library. If it's a creature card that shared a creature type with a creature you control, you may cast it without paying for it at mana cost. And then if you don't cast it, put it on the bottom of your library. And then Endless Evil, which is a pretty gimmicky card. I would just want to just put in here just because it looks funny. It seems good. At the beginning of your upkeep, create a token that's a copy of a enchanted creature, except it's a 1-1 token, and then when a enchanted creature dies, 
If that creature was a horror, return endless evil to its owner's hand, which is pretty cool. Uh, which it probably will because arcane aliens are everything. And then we got Guardian Project Bruins card draw, Kinder Discovery card draw, uh, Reflection just to create more changeling for us, and then uh, the Barrel of Jair, uh, which is pretty cool um, just because it creates a 2 2 for us. Uh, any number of target shapes after become 4 4s. And then choose up to target creature or play Dogger. Each creature you control with power four greater deals damage equal to uh, power to that permit, which is really nice. It's a nice removal spell for something big that we can't deal with. And then we have the Utopia's Ball for mana, of course. And let's talk about the 35 lands here. Um, Breeding Pool, Command Beacon, Dream Root, Cascade, Exotic Orchard, Flooded Grove, Hitlin Arbor, Mirror Pool, Missy Rainforest, Mana Vault, uh, Vault. And Breeding... Oh, did I put Breeding... Ah, did it again. My bad, guys. In order to bring pool, uh, overflow and basin, rejuvenating springs, uh, Rimwood Falls, scavenging grounds, Woodland Grove, Yame Coast, and then eight forests and 11 islands. You could definitely add more lands. Uh, I know that the pre con is like heavily in the lands area. You want to do cool stuff with the lands, but I didn't really care about that stuff. I only care about just the commander. I don't think there was anything exciting. Um, from the pre-con that I wanted to put in here, except for, like, the commander herself, which I think is, like, amazing, but, yeah, I, I'm pretty happy that they finally made a commander that did everything for changelings. I was like, finally, support. Maybe on that one few, but, uh, if you are one of those lucky few that, uh, been waiting for a changeling commander, definitely say changeling gang in the comment section below. Uh, but, yeah, I think that is it for today, deck tech today. Um, I think that is all the pretty con. I think Barry did his uh, last one yesterday, and I did mine also Tuesday, But uh, and this is going to be the last one. But uh, the next video next week we'll be talking about is uh, deck text for the commanders or the legendary creatures from Modern Horizon 3, from that set specifically, uh, till um, something new comes up, uh, like the standard set or Assassin's Creed. We'll be working on videos for those. Uh, for the upcoming uh, months. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Definitely uh, hit that subscribe button and click the notification button uh, to get more videos and more content from us. And definitely like and comment. Um, comment what you like about the deck. Comment what you don't like. I like to hear some cr uh, criticism there. Um, this is just a fun deck that I made. I was like, wow, they finally made a commander for this. So I want to do something fun. Uh, but if you guys wanted, to, wanted something else uh, with Omo, um, definitely just comment uh, what you want and I'll uh, try to make something out of it, you know, with a budget and stuff like that. But yeah, I am going to get out of here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, guys. And I am out.